Hello friends, I am your friend Takshil Yadav and today we are going to discuss the new topic that is floods. You might think floods have occurred many at many places. You might think how they occur and what are floods. And some people even think that flood is the only overflowing of a river by which its water which remains constant or moves at a constant speed crosses the boundaries of the river. But that is not the actual thing. Floods can be caused by anything. It can be heavy rains. Yeah, it can be heavy rains. It can be tsunamis. Under the sea or the river, or there can be many more reasons for the occurrence of floods. Now, what happens in floods? In floods, mainly the water crosses the boundaries and causes destruction everywhere. Or simply, we can say when a dry piece of land, suppose this is a land dry piece where there are many homes and hospitals you can say this is a home this is a school this is a park a park this is a park you can say many things now and far away from it there is a river and water ha this water has never come here by any other way so we can say that a flood is occurring when the water from the nearest body water body comes to a dry piece of land here when it the river will flood it its water will reach the dry land and that is known as a flood or we can say that it will be a, like a flood for the people of that area Floods cause too much destruction to life and property. They damage buildings and everywhere, anything that comes in their path. Now, what are the types of floods? What are the types of floods? There are mainly three types of floods. Yes, there are mainly three types of floods. These three were the reasons of occurrence. Reasons of occurrence. Yeah. And now the three types of floods. The three types of floods are the first one is the first one is slow onset floods slow onset floods the second one is rapid onset floods and the third one is Flash. This is these are the three types of floods. These are the three types of floods. Uh, the three types of floods. Now, what is the difference between these three types of floods? The slow onset floods. Yeah, these floods may take days or even weeks. They take a, you can say they take a long time. They take a long time. To occur. The rapid onset 
floods. They take less time than the slow onset floods, but they still give us time to escape. They might take a day or two. And the third one is flash floods, which occurs in minutes or seconds. Yeah, it occurs in minutes or seconds. It is a flood that occurs in the least time. That's why it's named flash floods. These floods, you might have noticed a thing that the floods are named according to their time. Such as the slow onset floods are named slow because they take long time. Rapid ones are said are given the name rapid onset as they take a longer time, a less time, sorry. And the flash are known, are given the name flash floods as they take least time to occur. Just like a lightning flash, flash of lightning. So thank you friends for watching this video. This was the whole analysis of the topic floods. I hope you understood all the reasons and the types of floods. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Takshriyadha and do not forget to click the notification bell and like and share this video. Thank you. Jai Hind.